Welcome to Hamish and Dave's Kentucky Adventure. I'm Hamish Cargill. And I'm Dave Cameron. And we're in the exhibition halls here at the World Equestrian Games. Well, hey, babe, we couldn't have found a better place for two more proper gentlemen than ourselves and right here. What do you reckon, mate? Absolutely, mate. And I'll tell you what, World Equestrian Games, closest thing you'll get to Equitana. With Kentucky turning on some rainy weather, it seemed like the perfect time for Hamish and I to escape from the horses and duck inside. You might think that the World Equestrian Games are all about the horses, but for many people the trade stands and exhibitions are an even bigger attraction than the world's best horses. After a quick tour around the displays, including the FEI photography exhibit, you can understand why. Pat Pirelli is always a star at Equitana, and as one of the most successful equine trainers in the world, it's no surprise that his breed of horsemanship is right at home here in Kentucky. While there were some good things to learn from Pat, Dave and I had left our rope holders at home for a reason, so we headed off to find some of the comforts of home. The favourable exchange rate clinched the deal for us, so we were happy to move in straight away. After a week on our Kentucky adventure, I've found that living with Dave can be pretty hard work. Hey, Aimbo, can you chuck me a towel, buddy? Mainly because he never gives me a moment to myself. Where's Aimbo? Oh, Aimbo! Aimbo! Dave, oh, get hey, out! Oh, get out, mate! Aimbo! <laughs> with Dave and I struggling to live together harmoniously, it probably wasn't the best time to go tackling the Land Rover four-wheel driving experience and it's a surprise they even considered letting us behind the wheel. I feel pretty confident with the thousands that come through here. You guys might be a challenge. With Dave claiming victory and learning the ropes with his instructor Don, I was quietly hoping that he would plough the big rangy into a rock. Much to Hamish's disappointment, the Range Rover was in steady hands. And while Hamish was stewing about missing out his opportunity to drive the big rig, I managed to conquer the seesaw. With four-wheel driving under our belts, it was time to go and talk farm machinery with the good folks at John Deere. Since they gave us some cool hats, Dave and I thought we might also get a good deal on a tractor. While Hamish seemed pretty happy with his find, I couldn't help but think he set the bar a little low. With the day drawing to a close, it was time to hit the Lexington Convention Centre. While there was another huge equine exhibition to scout around, we were there for an interview with 2010 radio show host Glenn the Geek and Samantha Clark. Seventh at the World Cup final. After a sometimes tense day of schmoozing and perusing, it was nice to know we've still got what it takes to make a man laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it sort of was, we did. <laughs> I'm Hamish Cargill. I'm Dave Cameron. See you somewhere out there.